Hi, this is Shadi and today I will be discussing uh, lost techniques of Kendo. Uh, not particularly lost, but stuff that are just being phased out uh, as the years go on. So um, I'm a big fan of Kendo and back when I did Aikido, sword work was something that I never missed. A lot of people would just go into the open hand technique classes, but in terms of swords, a lot you would see like maybe half the students in class. So uh, the other night I was looking up some kendo footage, watching some kendo matches, uh, learning a little bit more about kendo and then I stumbled upon this footage. So here you see it. Uh, clearly there's grappling going on. Uh, this is uh, Empty Mind Films. This is the kendo episode. Here you see a closed guard and uh, it hit me like a bolt of lightning and I asked myself is judo like kendo or is kendo like judo what do i mean by that um before world war ii judo was just absolutely amazing in terms of development in neiwaza uh, grandmasters like tsunetani oda uh, kanemitsu yaichibe etc all these people that i've covered and also the aspect of kata and many other things. So is Kendo very similar to Judo when it comes to competition? Because in competition in Judo, you would see a lot of Nagiwaza throws, a little bit of Neiwaza when the fight goes to the ground and that's it. But in terms of what we train in class, you see a lot of do Neiwaza Randori, we would do Kata and we would do stand up and drills, etc. So, uh, what you see in competition is not very much reflective of what goes into training. So I thought maybe Kendo is the same. So I went on to our Kendo, the Reddit forum for Kendo, and I asked about grappling uh, or where can I find the, the techniques or uh, what's the deal with the techniques or why not they're in why are they not in competition so they were very uh, courteous they were very polite and they given me a multitude of answers so uh, there's basically the following reasons the first one is sometimes you might see uh, grappling in kendo that's uh, the uh, ikoryu called tenen rishin ryu uh, which is one of the predecessors also pre world war ii kendo as you are seeing here had far more grappling in it and Finally, also police kendo has uh, foot sweeps in it, and I will show you that later, practice till this day, uh, which tells me that police kendo, which means that even though kendo is the way of the sword and a bit of a way of personal growth, but it has its martial utility uh, for the police to practice it. And I do believe that because, you know, they're sparring. So here's what the Empty Mind film said. ちょっと、もちろん、その足の方なんか何もないですけど、それはもし好きがあった、そういうものが、その、あの、触って、ひっくり返しても構わないというashibarai or foot sweeps to send the opponent flying to the ground and grappling on the dojo floor seem abhorrent to most kendo practitioners today such acts are strictly prohibited in competition rules a samurai who lost his weapon on the battlefield however will continue to fight unarmed using techniques on jujutsu to overcome his opponent So here you see an Uke Otoshi. By the way, this is the Haga Dojo, and here followed by a Yoko Shiogatame. So uh, obviously Uke Otoshi, I've talked about it multiple times. The floating drop, the first technique in Nage no Kata. So uh, this is the Haga Dojo you, you are seeing in this film. Uh, Haga Sensei was born in 1908, and his school still has some pre World War II uh, breath to it. Here you see a Hiza Guruma, and here you see the closed guard so um he's aguruma again one of these staples of judo you still see it in randori till this day uh but this is the thing about kendo is that when you are moving and you have your hands all tied up with the shinai or the bamboo sword uh you know you don't need kuzushi in order to be taken down one only needs to follow your footsteps and thus create a foot sweep so here you see this old uh 
Kendo exhibition. You see here he's trying to foot sweep him because he's using his uh, legs as they are moving in order to foot sweep him. So here you see this is police Kendo tournament and brilliant Ashi Harai or De Ashi Harai. Let's see it again. So here they're sparring, uh, they're striking each other and they got close and as he's moving he sweeps his foot as it's advancing hence the name De Ashi Harai or you know advancing foot sweep so here let's see it again one more time as he's moving his foot is swept and struck in the head with the sword um, why does this fascinate me uh, the grappling particularly in kendo it's because uh you know we always say this when we are talking about martial arts is that you know you lose your sword as you heard them saying in the film and then you you resort to grappling because the armor is so stiff so here Let's see a kata where you see an arm lock as well in uh, kendo. So here he holds the elbow, uh, pushes it upward. The other hand is uh, using the weapon to put down the sword. Uh, you might say this is an ude gatame, but if, in, if he was holding the hand rather than pushing with his weapon on the sword, it would be a te gatame. We will see both examples. So here he's like grabbing the the elbow, pushing it upwards, which creates pressure. So here, this is ude gatame or hand hold or arm hold, I'm sorry, uh, arm hold, you, you pressure the elbow. Um, he was pressuring the elbow while putting his uh, weapon on top of the sword in order to prevent him from striking him. This is te gatame, te gatame, you hold the hand and with the other hand you apply pressure either to the elbow or to the shoulder uh, depending on, here for example, you are holding the hand and pulling it towards the neck, which creates pressure on the shoulder rather than the elbow. This is Te Gatami, you hold the hand. Ude Gatami, you hold the arm. Um, here is another example. It's like a Americana or Ude Garami, but you're only holding the hand. So here, this is an example of competition of Te Gatami. Uh, Wan Jin Kim against Aoki. Uh, let's see here, Tenen Rishin Ryu. The Gegiken Shiai. You, you see here he's trying to foot sweep. You see a clinch. Uh, here like a Koshiguruma or Kubinage. And then falls down to the ground for Yoko Shiogatame. Uh, you would see that grappling is a big part of it. Um, it really reflects the old battlefield uh, perception of things. Now I know Kendo has evolved. It is no longer about you know the old battlefield. Uh, it is more about you know polishing yourself, like you polish your weapon, um, and the like. Basically, in kendo, you win when you hit two out of three ipons, one on the wrist, one on the head, or the torso. So you have all three to target. Uh, I'm sure it's far more complex than that, but for those of you who don't know, this is how a kendo match is won. Uh, grappling, like I said, only in uh, police, you only see the Ashibarai as the kendokas told me, and you have the Tenen Rishin Ryu, where, like one of the old Koryus, where uh, you would see a lot more grappling, and kendo is you know, a new way of you know dealing with the sword, the way of the sword. So, um, Thanks for all the Kendokas that were very kind enough to uh, reply to me on our Kendo and really provide me with links and references. Uh, if I said anything that's a bit inaccurate or missing something, please let me know down below. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not a Kendoka, but again, I was really searching for the grappling because it is fascinating on so many levels. Um, in terms of me as a judoka, that would really uh, pique my curiosity and also uh, you know just the fact that we often talk about you know losing your sword etc and then you resort to grappling and here is a great example of how it was being done you saw the kendoka getting stuck inside control and tapped out you saw the takedowns you saw the closed guard and a little bit like uh, judo once the game is not advancing the, the match is stopped and then they are held back up so if you have anything else to add let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have Exclusive content for the patrons only. I post once a week. Uh, your support would be greatly appreciated. This was Shady, and as always, thank you for listening.